The traffic in downtown Phoenix during an event can make you want to pull your hair out. But for drivers like Uber and Lyft, there are drop off do's and don'ts. But still, our Stanley Roberts caught rideshare drivers misbehaving. I got caught misbehaving. These words are from a Lyft driver in Phoenix who, well, let me show you, dropped off a Yankee fan in front of a no parking or stopping sign outside Chase Field. During events along Jefferson, there is a problem with people jumping out of cars, mostly rideshare vehicles, then walking across or walking along the light rail tracks. The city has a rideshare unloading area right outside the park. However, people insist on jumping out of the cars in the middle of the street. Get back in your car! This woman not only jumped out of the rideshare, here she is being ordered back into the car by a Phoenix police officer. Then the rideshare driver gets a lecture. However, if this driver was one of the lucky ones, this Uber driver, not so lucky. So what happened here? I just pull over to drop somebody off. I've never, I've never come to Bank One or Chase Field to drop off ever, so I had no idea where to drop them off. While the officer does his work, let's go over some important house cleaning items. This has been a long-standing problem downtown, and when the city reaches out to rideshare companies, they are told the drivers are contractors and not employees, which basically means even if the passenger somehow jumps out the car in the middle of traffic, the rideshare operator is on the hook for the ticket. I literally was pulling out when he pulled behind me. How long have you been uh, working for Uber? Uh, nine months. Is that your first ticket? For Uber? For doing this? Yeah, yeah. I've never had a ticket doing wow. anything like this. He was hoping for a warning. So what you're being cited with yeah. today is one, one count of uh, disobeying a temporary marking or sign, meaning the signs that say don't stop or drop. There's this is a driver in the beginning as a Phoenix Police motor officer gets behind him. I got stopped because I dropped a passenger off at the wrong place. You know you stopped right in front of the sign that says don't stop here. I didn't. I, I see that. The fine for ignoring temporary signs in Phoenix comes with a $215 fine if you pay on time. But if you pay after the court date, it jumps to $275. Oh, and two points on your record. Oh, you can simply fight the ticket. In Phoenix, Stanley Roberts for Arizona's Family.